Bottles of Pauline. Ba -la 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 -la. Okay, what do we have here? Tuck in, everybody. Yeah. No! I hey! Need to start back I always thought that I'd be a mom someday. I think I'm ready. Great. Now you're ready, and by the time the kid's 16, I'm going to be one of those old dads like Brian Hendrickson's dad. You're not that old. Here's an idea. What if we adopt a five-year-old? Be like I got cracking when I was 36. How about that? Get cracking in formal idiom to start working on something quickly and energetically. Another example. I don't remember all the ass kickings you got from the neighbor kids. <laughs> now let's get cracking. Shower, shirt, shoes, and let's shove off. To adopt, to take voluntarily a child of other parents as one's own child. I think I'm ready. Great. Now you're ready, and by the time the kid's 16, I'm going to be one of those old dads like Brian Hendrickson's dad. You're not that old. Here's an idea. What if we adopt a five-year-old? Be like I got cracking when I was 36. How about that? <laughs> hey, what's the matter? Nothing. I was just thinking about what you said about adopting a five-year-old. I said that? Yeah. I was totally... I was joking. I know. It's kind of crazy, but it just got me thinking, and there's so many kids in foster care. Foster care. A situation in which for a period of time, a child lives with and is cared for by people who are not the child's parents. What's the matter? Commonly used phrase. It means, what is going on, what is the problem, and it shows you're concerned about the other person. People who take in foster kids are really special. These are the kind of people who volunteer when it's not even a holiday. Right, we don't even volunteer on a holiday. Well, what if there was like a disaster? What, like a dirty bomb? Whatever. And like, there's a little kid who ends up on our doorstep. Are we going to turn her away because we're not special enough? Disaster. A sudden event, such as a storm or accident which causes huge damage or suffering. Dirty bomb. Radiological weapon. Term has also been used historically to refer to nuclear weapons. To end up. To reach or come to a place or situation that was not planned or expected. And like, there's a little kid who ends up on our doorstep. Somebody's ringing the bell. Do me a favor. Won't you open the door and let him in? I'm so excited. Are you excited? I just get worried. That you think things are gonna be easier than they actually are. What? I do not! You do! No, this whole thing was your idea. I now do. I'm pumped about it, and you're not even pumped? No, 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 I am pumped. Pumped. Informal adjective. To be very excited about something that is going to happen. Did you hear her speak? Yes! It was the greatest thing I've ever heard in my life. I know. Come on, cowgirl, let me get a yeehaw. Yeehaw! No, boo! Give me one. Yeehaw! <laughs> Louder, crazier. Come on. Come on! You're about to be a mom! Yeah! Be about to do something, to be going to happen, or do something very soon. Excuse me, sorry. Hey, sorry. sorry. So sorry. Occupied. I'm occupied. Oh, sorry. Oh, I just, oh, we just went to get time. treats, so yeah. Just right. back it up. Yes. Lucas, hey, look, Lucas, Lucas, Come on, Lucas, wait over here. Occupied. Held or taken over, not free for use by someone else. Back it up. Go back to an earlier position. Prove something. Just back it up. Yes. How's it going? Hey. Yeah, well, it's a little weird. Yeah, these things can be kind of awkward. But I mean, did you meet any kids that you're curious about or? Awkward, uncomfortable, making you feel embarrassed so that you are not sure what to do or say. Yeah, these things can be kind of awkward. Curious, exciting attention when you are interested in it and want to know more about it. Did you meet any kids that you're curious about? We met one little girl who's uh, sitting all by herself, very sweet, a little guarded. Kind of had a little wall around her. Really small for age, too, you know, like, I don't know, like maybe like fetal alcohol thing or something. I saw her, oh, right there, the little sad looking one with the pigtails. It seems like she's been chained to a radiator half her life. Guarded. Careful not to give too much information or show how you really feel. A little guarded. Kind of had a little wall around her. Pigtails. Chain. Radiator. The little sad looking one with the pigtails. It seems like she's been chained to a radiator half her life. Uh, that's my daughter. The radiator kid? 
What? Yeah, it's my daughter. I'm so sorry. You don't I'm have to so be sorry. sorry. I'm, I'm really proud of her. And the reason that she's sitting away from others is because she has a family, a very happy family. And I didn't drink a drop when I was pregnant. Nor do I have a radiator. Proud. Feeling pride or satisfaction about something good that you or someone else did. I'm really proud of her. Nor. Used in negative phrases to introduce the second member in a series. And I didn't drink a drop when I was pregnant. Nor do I have a radiator. You know what? I'm sick of looking at that. To hell with it. I'm going over there. Pete. Hey, Pete. Pete, what are you doing? Look at them over there. I mean, everybody's avoiding them like they're dipped in shit. I'm just going to go and say hi. Sick of something. Used when you want to say that you are tired of something, or totally annoyed by something or someone. To avoid, keep away from, or try not to go near someone, do something to prevent something bad from happening. Dipped in shit, very informal phrase, used when you want to describe some person who is untouchable and no one would come close to him. Everybody's avoiding them like they're dipped in shit. I think it's awful, but they're teenagers, okay? They use drugs and they masturbate, and they watch people playing video games on YouTube. We're not equipped for any of that. What do we have to be equipped for? I'm just going to say hello. I know, I don't think we should do that. Awful, extremely bad or unpleasant, terrible. To equip, give someone the tools they need to do a job, get ready someone mentally for a situation or task. We're not equipped for any of that. Hey. Hi. Just uh, FYI, we can all hear you. Dipped in shit, masturbate, so forth. Uh, you know, we appreciate the concern, but there's really no need to go pity crazy, you know? We know how this works. FYI, abbreviation for for your information. Stuff, uh, FYI, we can all hear you. Concern, a matter of interest or worry. We appreciate the concern, but there's really no need to go pity crazy. So just go on, it's okay. Go mingle with the kitties and uh, don't give it another thought, okay? Have a good day, folks. Thanks, bye-bye. <laughs> To mingle, to move around and talk to a lot of people, especially at a social event. We'll mingle with the kitties and uh... Don't give it another thought. Use to tell someone not to worry, after they have told you, they are sorry. Polite way of accepting someone's apology. Another example. Richard, I am so sorry. It's okay. Would it make you feel better to, to strike me? No, you, you had good intentions, Jared. Honestly, don't give it another thought. Just, you know, you and I. Right now, we're the only ones that know about it. Three kids? What? Yeah, three. Yeah, uh, Lizzie. <laughs> At once? <laughs> yeah, Lizzie comes with two younger siblings, Juan and Lita. Wait, what? wait, so we would have three children? Oh, two maybe, but there's no way we can do three. I mean, that was, wow. we wanted That's to meet them. So cool. Oh my gosh. Siblings. Each of two or more children having one or both parents in common. Formal term for a brother or sister. Lizzie comes with two younger siblings, Juan and Lita. Yeah, why would you even Are show that? Th doing? They're so cute. That's wrong. Listen, we're not going to sugarcoat it, OK? Lita is a, a wild, rowdy kid, and Juan can be fragile and a little emotional. And to sugarcoat. Cover food with a thin layer of sugar. Make something seem more positive or pleasant than it really is. We're not going to sugarcoat it, OK? Rowdy, noisy, causing trouble and possibly violent. Fragile, easily broken or destroyed. Getting upset or losing confidence very easily. We wouldn't recommend this match if we didn't believe that with some structure and love, these, these kids could blossom, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and we're hoping to get them out of their current foster placement. To blossom, produce flowers or masses of flowers, develop good successful qualities. With some structure and love, these kids could blossom. <laughs> Yay! We want to thank the Lord for our first Christmas together, and we want to give thanks for this lovely meal and also this um, bounty of super fun cardboard boxes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Okay, tuck in, everybody. 
Bounty, something that is given generously. A large amount of something. Bounty of super fun cardboard boxes. <laughs> to tuck in, eat food with enthusiasm because you like it or because you're hungry. Tuck in, everybody. Where's my potato chips? Oh, we're not having chips tonight, Munchkin. Sorry. I want my chips. Lita, Lizzie, Pete and I worked really hard on this dinner, and there's lots of yummy food for you to eat. No! Munchkin, informal name for a nice, friendly, small child, a person who keeps busy doing things that are often unimportant or unnecessary. Yummy, tasting extremely good. And there's lots of yummy food for you to eat. No! Lita, stay right there. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, no, it's okay. Don't cry. Relax. Okay. Wash your feet, okay? Brace, brace me. I can't I'm so sorry. Careful, okay? Hey, you give those to me. Give me. Ow. Calm down. Don't oh, cry. I'll get it. Get it. Mean to, commonly used idiom, have the intention or particular purpose. These are really, really good potatoes. Hey. Oh, oh, God. oh, my God, you look oh. Oh. What are you doing? What? I'm trying to put it out. With ketchup? Put it out. Stop it. To duck. To lower your head quickly in order to move under something or to avoid being hit. Oh. Oh. To put out, make a flame, or light stop burning, turn off. What are you doing? What? I'm trying to put it out! Why would you give a kid milk in a glass cup? I'm sorry, I didn't... Why did she do that? I hate her! It didn't take long. I hate us already. Well, technically, she said she hates you. <laughs> This whole thing was your idea. Now I'm pumped about it. You're not even pumped. Listen, we're not gonna sugarcoat. Three kids? Yeah, three. Now let's get crazy. Good day, folks. Thanks. Bye bye.